Welcome students here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali in this video we will learn another test of autocorrelation that is Broch Godfrey test of autocorrelation reduction Dear students as we know that one of the assumption of uh, OLS is that the covariance between the two error is equal to zero this means that two errors are independent of each other two errors are not equal to each other so they are not correlated to with one another but if covariance between the error is not as equal to zero this means that two errors are equal to each other two errors are no more independent of each other two errors are correlated with one another if two errors are correlated with one another this is known as autocorrelation and we have now gone through the uh, some basic test of the autocorrelation that is Durbin Watson test. Okay, the Durbin Watson test uh, uh, has some limitation that Durbin Watson test cannot be applied in the presence of constant term. If the regression uh, line has a constant term, then we cannot apply the Durbin Watson test. And if the there is a lag dependent variable as an explanatory variable in the model, then we cannot apply the Durbin Watson test. And moreover, uh, there must be a first order uh, autocorrelation and if uh, there is no first order autocorrelation then we cannot apply the Durbin Watson test so under these uh, limitation we can apply the Broch Godfrey uh, test of autocorrelation so I suggest you I recommend you that uh, before uh, well understanding of uh, uh, this test you have to learn uh, the DW or Durban Watson test first. Okay, let's start the detailed discussion of the Bosch Bosch Godfrey test. Okay, first one, there are several uh, drawbacks makes the uh, Durban Watson test inappropriate in various cases to detect autocorrelation. It may provide inconclusive results. Durban Watson test provide you inconclusive results. It is not applicable when a lag dependent variable is used. It cannot take into account higher order of serial correlation. Durban Watson test only rely on first order serial correlation. It is desirable to examine a giant test of autocorrelation that will allow examination of the relationship between the error and several of the lagged value of their error at the same time okay under these situation Broch 1978 and Godfrey 1978 develop LM test of autocorrelation which accommodate all these uh, above cases uh, to find the autocorrelation okay let's we have a regression line that yt is equal to beta 1 beta 2 x 2 t beta 3 x c so on and we have a error term okay from this regression line you have to find error term and generate a regression equation for the error term so from this equation you first have to find u and you know the for finding the u series you have y minus y hat so from this you get a series of ut and from this ut series you have to run this model like you here you have a ut as a dependent variable and lag 1 lag 2 so on lag p you have a lag dependent variable and as an explanatory variable and here this et is error term this is a white nice error term with mean zero and variance constant okay the Broch Godfrey LM test combined these two equations so this equation error term equation and this actual equation this will uh, the LM test is the combination of these two because uh, DW test is not using any type of lag dependent variable so see we are using uh, error term or error term lag as an explanatory variable in our model 
so then our equation become yt now yt are dependent variable now our dependent variable depends upon explanatory variable x2 x3 so on whatever the uh, number of explanatory variable you have and here see we have a uh, error term or error term lags as an explanatory variable okay now you have to develop null and alternative hypothesis here okay row 1 row 2 row 3 so see here row 1 row 2 row 3 so on depend upon number of rows so if rows are is equal to 0 then there is no auto correlation but if all or any of one row is not is equal to 0 we can say that there is auto correlation present in our data so steps involved in the broch godfrey test 1970 the first step estimate this regression line and from this regression line you find the series error term series and you know that error term series at ut is equal to y minus y hat and you get us error term series step 2 run the following regression line now you when you get the error term series now you have error uh, error term as a dependent variable and error term lag is an independent variable so you have to use the error term as an independent variable error term lag as an explanatory variable or independent variable step 3 compute the lm test now you have lm uh, test formula that n minus rho into r square rho when you are talking about the n number of observation minus rho from this equation you find the rho value so put this value here from this equation you also find the r square put the value of r square you get the value of lm statistic okay if lm statistic is bigger than the chi square you have the chi square value depending upon your level of significance you are using 1% level of significance you are using 5% or 10% level level of significance if your uh, calculated lm is greater than your critical value then you can conclude that uh, there is auto correlation okay we if uh, lm test is bigger than your critical value we reject the L null hypothesis of no serial correlation and conclude that there is auto correlation or serial correlation present in our data and if your lm test is less than your critical value then you can conclude that there is no auto correlation or serial correlation present in your data or in your error okay this is all about the broch godfrey test 1970 okay see you with another video ciao